Kunark. Hey, welcome back to another episode featuring Izod and our fresh start. We are at the bank back in East Cabalus, and we're here to pick up a few items. Nothing that's going to be too crazy. So, well, let's let's retrieve everything. We've got a couple earrings in there that uh, maybe we need, maybe we don't, but not right now. So let's see here. Let's check out our bank real fast. <clears throat> I notice I have quite a bit of cash here that I was given. But what we do have, okay, I guess I don't need those. So what we have is some items that I want to eventually give to Izod. Uh, we have the old classic Bellium Fire Wedding Ring, 6 AC, 65 hit points. Can't make those anymore on the new live servers, which is where we are. So that's fun when I can find those in the bazaar. I make sure I pick them up every time. We have a Cougar Claw Earring, 4 AC, 3 Strength, 2 Dex. Pretty classic. That's Velios era. And then we have the Vashir Claw Earring, 5 Strength, 4 Stamina, 6 Dex. Those are pretty great as well. But to move over here, well, we have this as well. This is from the uh, from the, the casino, I guess, where you use the golden tickets. This is a two-handed blunt, 44 damage, 40 delay. And then we have the Staff of Transcendence ornament, which has all the sevens that come off of it. It's pretty great. So we're going to use that later. Uh, I think that's a little OP right now. So let's take that. Let's just stick it on real quick. Ah, no, we won't do it. We'll do it later. It's it's a pretty great. I love a two-handed uh, blunt for the monk. And then we have, of course, a funky scale tunic, which right now I feel is way OP. Uh, we have our flowing black silk sash, which might not be horrible right now. And then we have Holgresh Elder Beads, so we can do our Ayazam, but we don't need that right this second. And our Journeyman Boots, which we are actually going to snag. Because this uh, running around all slow-like is getting pretty old. And we also have our Robe of the Whistling Fist. But we can't use the Jonathan's Whistling War Song until level 30. So we're going to wait on that. But the robe is super cool looking. 15 AC, 50 hit points. Uh, we're going to wait on that for a little bit. And then we have a Cloak of Flames. Uh, more haste and more AC. So nothing too crazy. But, you know, we have these Cougar Claw earrings. <laughs> Let's put those in the bag. I didn't realize we already had those. And there, oh, we have an orc fang. Let's take a look at that one. That one's a little different. Three AC, fifteen hit points, three strength. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So let's move these things out of here as well. We got some free stuff during the uh, dark paw days. All right. But what we did snag is this uh, Robe of Living Fungus, 10 AC, 12 Stamina, 4 Wisdom. Uh, so we're going to get a little bit more hit points. Let's put that on. Let's see what our HP goes up to. That gives us 3. So we'll just hold on to this, what is it, Torn Cloth Tunic. And a monk looks really, really cool in his robes. So we have our Journeyman Boots which we will show you what those are. If you do not know, we'll put them down here and they're right clicky, 12 minute Spirit of the Wolf. So we get to run around a little bit faster. All right, so let's, let's go do those pincers one more time. That 10% EXP was pretty ridiculous. So I would, uh, I would definitely like to get a hold of a little bit more of that EXP, and then we'll go do something else. 
So here we go. We're off and running. We're heading back to the Field of Bone. We got our new cool robe, our dual wield. So we're looking pretty, pretty badass. All right, we are back in the Field of Bone. So let's get out there with our new speed. And we'll just start killing some scorpions. You know, if we have to kill some skeletons along the way, you know, a little bit of free EXP doesn't hurt. It's a nice long run, though so having the uh, Spirit of the Wolf really is nice. All right, and here's our first victim. A lot of wolf pups out here. We might have to start killing some of those to open up some space for more scorpions to spawn. Ooh, look at that. We did a 15 and a 16. Dual wield, double attack there. Let's kill this skeleton. Let's get him. Let's just set the uh, the bones to always need. Then we don't have to see the the window that comes up. And we'll set that to always need. We'll take a look over here. Scorpion pincer. We're leveling through a lot faster than I really thought we would. Uh, the bonus is really helping us out quite a bit. But even though the scorpions give pretty good EXP. We'll probably be level 5 by the time we even have to go turn in. Any more of our pincers and skeleton bones, or bone chips, rather. Yeah, maybe once we get to, like, around level 10, maybe we'll use the, uh, the Defiant gear that we've collected. We need leather. I think at that point... There we go, we got another pincer. I think at that point, we may need it. Because the monsters are going to be a little bit tougher. I mean, we're just still in the newbie zone here, screwing around. But there's so many places to go. Especially in, in this zone, Field of Bone. Ooh, here we go. We got a malicious skeleton. He's yellow. All right. Looks like the fight is going to be on. This is going to be tough. Dual wield is 25. One-handed blunt is 27. We're hitting for 15 and 16. Uh, this skeleton is crushing us for 7 and 9, which isn't really horrible. We're actually doing really well, and we're not even decked out in any kind of gear that would really help us. We should probably loot that. I bet we need it for something. There we go. That was ridiculous. 11% EXP. And we're at 92%. We're not getting uh, a whole lot of pincers here. But it's still fun just to be out here killing everything. I like it that we're not... You know, we're not so beginner that it, it just becomes painful, but we're not twinked out and OP that it, it's not fun because it's too easy. I 
Let's loot one of those. You never know if we need it for something. All right. Level five. Now we can do origin. So we can teleport back with uh, it's a free AA. Wow, that went quick. Five levels. Good times. All right, looks like we're going to be killing a few skeletons here. Ooh, that was a good one. Got a nice kick and a hit. I think a scorpion is over here. That might have been the tail. Yeah, see? Scorpion. Large scorpion. Ah, let's kill it anyway. It's yellow. Got stunned. Dodge is 8. Offense is 17. No, defense is 17. Offense is 22. That's what we want. We want those skills going up. Two, our one hand and blunt is 29. Wow, we're doing great. You know, it's great running around the newbie zone. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but it's also really good to be able to move away from here. Oh, got stunned for a second there. Oof, that was pretty good. 11%. How many pincers do we have? We have four pincers. There we go. Let's just kill this guy and then we'll we'll head on out of here. There we go. We got another pincer. Well, might as well. If we have five, we might as well get eight. <laughs> this guy just doesn't want to be hit. He's too elusive. There we go. That's six. We have four bone chips and six pincers. Yep, still six. All right, up over on this hill, there seem to be a bunch of them bunch of them, as in scorpions. One more pincer. Here we go. Working up our skills really well so that we can move on and start fighting in some really crazy spots. Thinking about Kern's Tower, which is over there that you can't see. A lot of skeletons in there, so worst case scenario, we collect a lot of bone chips and then on our way back, we can turn them in and just get a little bit of free e extra EXP. Some more chain defiant. Let's see, move all this here. The 
There we go. One more to go. We'll go up further up this hill here. There we go. I see two of them right now. Still nothing. What a bummer. A lot of wolf pups. Interesting that there, there isn't a guy out there looking for some sort of wolf pup hide or something. I wonder who this cat is over here. And that was our last pincer. There we go. What's this guy doing? Let's give him a hail. Let's see. You caught me before I started another mission. What can I do for you? Do you need aid? He wants something. Sounds like a high level. You must know that he specializes. Bring me the stone, a mirrored gem, and two celestial essence. All right, we're out of we're out of our spirit of the wolf. Got to keep an eye on that. Fifteen minutes. Free Spirit of the Wolf. Such a huge difference between having it and not having it. All right, let's go turn in our pincers and our bone chips. And then we'll go do something else. Just when you get used to a zone, you go move to a new zone. All right, there's our warlord. Still quite a bit of EXP, 6% there. Doing good. And let's hit Trooper Mozo. Hook him up with some bone chips. There we go. Working our way through level five. Well, that is right now, that's kind of the field of bone. Those are your beginning quests. Gives you some really good EXP. You get more EXP killing and free EXP for turning in what they drop. Pretty good. All right, let's head back into Kabbalist. And we'll go somewhere else. Okay, here we are. East Kabbalist. Let's take a look at our map. And we want to go to the Swamp of No Hope. We're going to head over that way. So pretty much indirectly, it's straight across the zone. Seems to be a lot of scale wolf pups out here. Even though we killed them all, seems like they're making a comeback. So that's pretty good. Good for them. All right, here we go. We're going to be heading 
into the Swamp of No Hope. All right, here we are into the Swamp of No Hope. We got our new Traveler achievement. All right, what we want to do, leave this is our guy right up here, Captain Nadar. He has things for us to do. Nope. Where is Captain Nadar? Well, Mystic Donovan only spawns every now and again. He has a thing. Let's check him out. All right. You hail him. He shows signs of great mystic. You can feel the power resonating from his aura. Greetings, and may the cursed blessings of Kazakhul be yours. What may I do for you this fine evening? Perhaps I can cure disease or heal you. Perhaps even purge toxins from your system. I believe it's cure disease. You hardly uh, shall, despite once you deliver me a uh, giant blood sack. Oh boy. No, thank you. Heal. Purge. Okay, so it looks like he can do some stuff. I thought it was more of like a like a quest. He's saying a lot of stuff. Captain Nadar. Where is he? Eh, it's fun to be able to try to find these people. Uh, we won't use too many of our resources. And just run around and see what we can do. We know who we're looking for at least. And let's see if we can find him. Got Taskmaster over there. That's not who we're looking for. He's probably in the other building. Maybe, maybe not. Our warlord. Let's see, it's not showing up here. Swamp of No Hope, Captain Nadar. Well, he's got to be around here somewhere. Good thing we have Spirit of the Wolf. We'll find him. Maybe we won't find him. Who knows? Well, let's go up top. Well, not in this room. Oop, 
I'm going to go back this way into this building. And, oh, that guy? Nope. Wow, where is this guy? Well, this guy, he's pretty risky. It's awfully close to Cabalus. Park Lock Skipper. I think I heard that they have those skipping stones that you can use for throwing. It'd be nice if we could get a hold of one of those. I wonder if they consume every time you use them. What do we got here? Skipping stone. go we can take that skipping stone it looks like it might have went there we go right into our ammo slot hopefully it doesn't consume let's get over here let's get a Is it this throwing when do we get throwing Find wound kick, round kick. We must not get throwing yet. All right. Well, we're looking for what I do know from this uh, Captain Nadar that we can't find. We want to find some tads. Froglock Tads. I really would like to find Captain Nadar. I probably ran past him three times. But we get to know the zone a little bit better. Running around. Huh. All right, let's just go. We know we need some tadpoles. Let's go do it. Let's go find a couple out here. See what we can do. Got a lot of leeches. This whole area, or zone rather, it's like a big old swamp. There's like a little frog lock city over here. Have to go over there and check it out. So we need a frog lock tad. Ooh, get to use our one hundred plus swimming. For being a swamp, the water is pretty clear. Hey, we got our safe fall up to 11. Excellent. You guys got to keep jumping out of buildings. There we go. What do we got here? Frog lock fisher. We want a frog lock tad. I think they're like little tadpoles with legs looking kind of things. Oh boy. We got a couple skippers. This is probably not going to go well because they're even. We've got two of them. Let's go. Let's get them. Let's get our kick and our defense and offense going. Nice. What do we got here? Crack staff. Very cool. Oh, this fissure is yellow. Great. Gives us something to do. And another fisher that is yellow. Let's kill this guy. There we go. Not let him get behind us. 
There we go. Let's just start taking them down. We can do it. Boy, I notice we don't have any of our combat music. There we go. Now we're talking. That's EverQuest right there. We can't have combat without combat music. Bring it down one more. Down to ten. There we go. Perfect. Now we got some music to ramp up the tension. Fifty-five seconds left on our Spirit of the Wolf. And we didn't find any tads out here. A little disappointing. Got mosquitoes though. Ooh, there's a tad. There's a skipper. Let's get them both. This frog lock skipper. Select them myself. Can't be doing that. Oh, another skipping stone. Hey! Level six. And now we're going to start losing EXP when we die, which is definitely a bummer. But we must. Not die. All right, well, let's head back to to the guards up here and see what we can do. I know we spent a lot of time looking for Captain Nadar, but, uh, you know, it had to be done. And we did not find him, though, which is a bummer. And, of course, we're going to do one more pass through just in case. All right, well, we're back here at the entrance to Cabalus. Oh, we can get to the Field of Bone from here? Well, it looks like we might be heading over that way. Level six. All right, well, that's it for us, and we'll see you next time. You have a good one.